Hey y'all, this is Billy Bob Fletcher, Pete Fletcher's cousin, and I'm here just to talk about Disney Star Wars just totally missing the ball once again. So I don't know if any of y'all saw it, but there was a new movie that came out this weekend called Return of the Jedi. It's a Star Wars movie. It's a Star Wars movie, but I didn't even hear about it. There were like no television commercials or nothing on it. So I didn't even know it was coming out until my good friend came over and he's like, hey, y'all want to go see that Star Wars movie? And I was like, Star Wars? Hell yeah, I'll be on that like white on rice. Excuse me for saying white on rice. That's probably not woke enough for y'all. Anyway, so we go to this movie. First of all, first big problem is it's typical Disney lazy writing. The big problem in this movie is another Death Star. Another Death Star. Come on, y'all. You can come up with something better than that. So we got that problem. Then they go to rescue Han Solo from that Job of the Hut guy. And it's an entire palace that's just stock full of puppets. It's all puppets. What is, is Star Wars supposed to be for kids now or something? Come on, give me a break, y'all. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, so then after that, you got the best character ever in a Star Wars movie, the best character ever to exist in Star Wars, Boba Fett. You know him. He's the coolest guy ever. He's a badass, and he goes out like a bitch. I'll tell you what, man. They just had a blind Han Solo accidentally bump into him, and he goes straight into the Sarlacc pit where he died a horrible death, and it was all some stupid, stupid comedy just to get the laugh out of the death of Boba Fett. Now, speaking of death, Princess Leia, she kills Jabba the Hutt. Of course she does. She's all there in her bikini looking fine, and then she goes and she kills Jabba the Hutt by choking him. Of course a woman's gonna go and be the hero. It's Disney's way, man. They're gonna go ahead and they're gonna go ahead and make that woman, she's gonna be able to save the day, because that's what Disney Star Wars does. That's all they ever do. Speaking of Princess Leia, she is Luke's twin sister. Now, listen, y'all, I don't got a problem with kissing your sister, but I do think it should not be in movies for kids. All right? I got a real problem with that. I think it's lazy writing again and just weird. I mean, incest is not okay on the big screen. That's all I'm saying. Speaking of that same place, there are Ewoks, these little furry teddy bears. And again, Star Wars just trying to cater to children. Basically, they're build a bear in the forest and they're killing all the stormtroopers like it ain't nothing. It's totally woke. It's totally, it's totally lazy. I can't believe we're getting this kind of writing. Finally, last thing I'm going to talk about is this emperor character. Listen, y'all, I don't know who this emperor is, but we deserve a backstory. We ain't got no reason to understand why Darth Vader's so afraid of him and why the whole empire is afraid of him. He's a grumpy old man. And then, and then at the end of the movie, when Darth Vader dies because love saves the day, that's a total Disney thing to do. Love saves the day. They take off Darth Vader's helmet, and Anakin Skywalker is like some dude in his 70s. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll tell you what, I ain't that good at math, but I know that Anakin's only in his like 30s or 40s or something. He ain't no 70 year old. I don't understand that. That is some bad writing. This whole movie's been bad writing, and it's typical. What? It's a re release of a film created by George Lucas himself. George came up with all these ideas. I got to say, I just saw Return of the Jedi. It might be the best movie I ever done seen in my whole life. 